Hey basketball coaches, today I'm going to be showing you the 1-2-2 press defense that Villanova uses in their games. This is deadly and you can use it with your team too. Let's get down and let's check this out. Okay, so what we can see here is we have our point man, our top man there. We also have two men at half court and then we have two other players further back. So how are they using this defense? Well, I'm going to go through a few different clips. So first, this man up top, he is to direct the ball handler to one sideline or the other. Their goal, and you will see this in further clips, is to trap the ball handler along that corner. Why do you say? Well, first off, obviously they can't go out of bounds, and once they get past half, they can't go past half. If you have a player here, and you've got another player here, that basically makes that player trapped, and they are unable to further or progress that ball past that point. So what we have here is the point man. He is now directing this player towards the sideline. We have these two players playing back at half. They are not really passing half at all right now, and these two players don't really want to go past half at all until this ball is past half itself, and at that point they don't have to go past half anyways. So what we're going to be doing now is having this player here, usually he would be standing over here, but he has moved over to cover half because this player has now continued past the imaginary half line. We now have that player who's ball handling knowing that he needs to reverse that ball around and that's what he does he reverses it around but we have this player who is now going to be covering any further progression we have this player who is covering half and this player who is going to recover and continue forcing that player towards that sideline and that's what we see here we now have this player is going way too deep he needs to stay up further higher but he hasn't, and that's a big mistake, but this player here is able to recover by taking a step back and stopping any pass going over to this player. One of these two players should have stepped out and stopped that player, and he, he should have been farther up, but at this point, the press is working until they get it past half, but anyways, what happens here is the fact that he actually travels and the referee does call it. In this next clip, again, it's a 1-2-2. Two, two. We have our two players at half. They are slightly past half in this clip. Now, what we have is this player, he is guarding any passes over towards this side. He is not up pressuring this player to go towards the sideline. We have this player over here who is guarding half. He is guarding the passing lane. This player is guarding any further progression down court. He now picks up the ball and he is dead, which means that these players don't really need to be where they are. They can sit back. Well, now we have now just pass the ball over to this side what this player does now is just go over to now cover the passing lane but also force the player to go farther up court we now have this player who is moving over to trap in that corner and this player has now moved back to cover any passes to half court what we have now is this player now knowing that well he is going to be trapped if he continues so he needs to pick up the ball and pass the ball well we have a nice tip pass, and now we can go back the other direction. Now in this third clip I'm going to show you, same idea, we have our front man, and now we have a quick pass back to this player, and these three players are still in their triangle. This is really good right now. They're going to further progress down court, and we say, see now this player up top, the point man, he is now blocking the passing lane. We haven't totally gone on and done a full-out press to force towards the sideline. We don't really want to do that. Now, when they pass that ball back around, or at least try to, what happens is as soon as this man picks up the ball, he's dead. These defenders can move back into passing lanes so that they can block passes. Now, what we have here is a good pass this man should have been a bit higher this man should have been a bit higher as well but that never happened but he now turns over that ball and travels anyways now what you could do in this next clip is have your point man of course he wants to try and block the swing pass but if the offensive player is now being careless with the ball because he's looking for a pass let your players know that they can go for that ball now, if the other team does have a weaker passer or a weaker ball handler, you could go all out and try and force that player to make a turnover. When this happens, the far side player needs to move down and cover half for sure because he's going to be making a pass up the middle, and that's what happens. And, of course, here they have a turnover.
So this is a 1-2-2 press, and essentially what we have in a Villanova-style press, instead of this player pressing right on, he is playing the passing lane, and then we have these two players playing the middle. If this player starts to move up the side, we also see player 1 doing the same, and player 3 moving in, player 2 now moving back to now force that press as soon as that player gets past half. This is extremely deadly, especially against younger teams. Now, if they do reverse that ball, we need to see player one still playing that passing lane, player three and two to move over, and of course the back players need to do the exact same. If the ball gets closer towards half, what I would really like to see is player two not to move back. We've seen this a few times with Villanova, but I would like to see him stay up top. Player four should be playing the middle here. At this point, these two players are still shadowing, but again, as soon as player two steps past half, we need that to be closed off and trapped along that corner. I hope that this video helps your team win more games. If it does, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.